Welcome to Seven Trumpets Prepper. Guys, I know I haven't done a YouTube video in a while. I've uh, just been busy working. Um, driving home through Wyoming right now, uh, back from Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, dropped off a EMP system to a customer. And uh, just, you know, I, I seen the fuel crisis things going on at home right now. You know, and I'm all the way across on the other side of the nation. And, you know, what does Luke do? Luke goes by, picks up some gas jugs, begin, or, you know, picking up gas jugs. I already got one in the back filled up. I'm slowly trickling through, getting them as I'm going through the states. And, you know, I'm just going to drop down through Kentucky and shoot right into home. But it just blows my mind that it's like the zombie apocalypse is going on back at home right now. You know, I mean, people's like, oh, I ain't got no fuel. Oh, my gosh, it's the end of the world. Dude, take a day off work. You know, it's people, what are they going to do, fire you? I mean, they can't get there themselves to do roll call, probably. And, you know, I, this is why all these years, you know, if people, it's, you know, I'm just going to step aside for just a second from preparation for the seven trumpets revelation, the end of the world, the return of the Most High Yah and His Son, Ham Yahushua HaMashiach. You know, I'm not talking about Messiah coming back at the moment. I'm just talking about life in general. You know, the other day, it was snowing in, in Wyoming when we come through. And I told Nick, I was like, oh, crap, if those gates go down, it's going to get real fast. Because I've Wyoming's one of the states I've been to the most in my entire life. And, you know, when it gets snowing out here, it gets real for anybody that lives out west and can definitely tell you exactly what I'm saying on that. Well, here we are going home, and, you know, my main goal is not the snow. You know, it, the, the, the week, it's, it's gotten warmer this past week. Um, and I looked at that because I was going to just take Southern Round home. And, you know, you always need to have a plan in place for a plan in place for a plan. Because that's like, I went to the Be Prepared store the other day, grabbed a bunch of provisions and stuff like that for you know, not only the trip home if something bad happened, but for when I get home, that's to be put up for hard times. And, you know, if you're across the country like me, you always need to go bag a firearm, food, and shelter, and fuel. You know, I mean, it's really simple, okay? I mean, it's not rocket science. And you look at these people back at home, I, I'm kind of ashamed of some of my fellow Tennesseans to see how they're acting. This ain't Katrina. This ain't Sandy. It's freaking gas pipeline broke for a day or two. And they're going to get out there and fix it. Because, listen, these gas boys ain't going to lose money. All right? Check out these cross gates right here is what I'm talking about right here. You know, when those suckers come down right there, there ain't no going down the interstate, okay? So, I mean, you know, you always, got, you always need to have a plan in place to get back home. And, and I'm not just speaking out, you know, I'm not just blowing hot air. Hey, I travel the country. I travel the world. Heck, I think here in a month or so, I may be in Costa Rica, uh, you know, working for a while. I mean, I go everywhere, people. I mean, this is why we don't do YouTube videos much anymore. It's because I'm always going. I'm always working. I built this guy's EMP box until like 2-something in the morning. And I think the next day I got in a vehicle and drove across the country. I mean, and you wonder why I don't make YouTube videos. This is why. Get ready. Because, like, you know, this is election year. The winter, if you know, it, it, you're going to have a long winter, okay? I mean, it, it's it's definitely going to be a long winter. Ain't no doubt in my mind about that. And then you got stupid stuff like this, like gas pipeline breaks, and all of a sudden it's a zombie apocalypse out in the street. It's just stupid. I mean, get get your grip together. I got gas jugs at home. I got gas jugs with me. You know, I mean, that when you go out west, you go and work, you work in Alaska like I've worked in Alaska, you freaking don't have a gas jug, you will die. I ain't even playing. Like, they ain't no gas station for a bazillion miles. All right? You, you drive and drive, and you just you, you just pray all the time. You're like, Father God, please don't let my tire blow up, and please don't let me run out of gas. And, and I, ain't, I, ain't, I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm not being a manly man. I mean, I'm telling you, it is like the most burly, biggest, baddest dude out there to, uh, you know, a medium-sized guy like me. Every one of us is just like, oh, heaven, please don't let us break down today. Well, it can be like 500 miles between gas stations. And then, who's to say that gas station is even going to be open? Yeah. Because some of them close during the winter. That's right. I forgot about that, Nick. You know, we were leaving out of Alaska. What was that? It was a Volkswagen Jetta? I think so. people, yeah, These people freaking driving out in a Volkswagen Jetta. I just look at Nick. She looks at me. You know, you can just have those subliminal looks at each other like this. May not end well for those people, you know. Not when you have snow up to <sighs> your knees already. But people, I mean, I just, you know, for years I've done this channel. I've told y'all, get prepared. I've showed you, hey, here's how to build this. Hey, here's to do this. 
You know, ain't just to get on YouTube and run my mouth. I really tried my best to make a ministry out of this. I've really enjoyed building things, and I love building things and sharing with people. I'm about to freaking blow your people's minds because I've got a project, a super secret squirrel project I'm working on that may just absolutely change the off-grid world forever. I'm talking Nikola Tesla kind of stuff going on. Okay, that, that's another thing why I ain't been making YouTube videos because I've been to Mad Scientist Workshop for days on end and got a bunch more coming up. Oh, look here. Here's some military vehicles going down the road. Uh, right there comes another Nick. And, and this has been going on. We've watched them on trains. And I also... I turn it. Yeah, right right here. Yeah, yeah. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Right... There it went. Yeah. That's and the fourth one. Yeah, that's the fourth one in, what, 20 minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been military equipment. On trains. On trains, on the road, on tractor trailers on the road. I mean, there's a huge mobilization of stuff out west. I mean, like, I think I've counted... 60-something uh, pieces of equipment, probably. Yeah, right here comes more military equipment. And just wait for right here. She'll pan it for you guys. Hold on just a second. And coming. Three, two, one. One. Do, do, do. There went the other one. Yeah. And so that's been going on constant since we've been gone. And I know people's all the time like, well, they move military equipment across the country all the time. How many freaking pieces of equipment you need across this country? I've filmed multiple times over the years. It's been going on all the time and I just uh, you know something's getting ready to go down I mean I look for 2017 I think is going to be the kicker oh there's another one right down there look at that can you get it he's down there with yeah the he's train. down there riding beside the train that's a back road in Wyoming right there we are, I wonder I, what's on that train I don't know yeah I'm telling you guys like just a lot of things stuck out to me lately but I won't get off subject this gas thing okay this gas thing the media. You know, the media. They're liars. Look at this. Is that another one? Right there's another one. Right there's another one. He's driving slow. Yeah, I know. I thought he was going to turn for a and second. They're in though. uniform. Um, so anyway, the media. Yeah, that that's the big thing I want to get across in this video. <laughs> is they are liars. And I mean like everybody's like, well, we know that, Luke. Well, no, what, what you don't understand is the depth of it. Like, you know, everybody's like election year, so it's all... You know, they're covering for Hillary Clinton. I ain't interested in that. That's not even what's on my mind at the moment. Is if you look at this gas thing, I have people, you know, we know people across the state in Tennessee at home. All right. Friend of ours, already confirmed Chattanooga, empty. Uh, Knoxville, empty. You know, all across the state, empty. The news media, they're like, oh, don't fret. Tennessee's got plenty of gas. Well, it must be in your dreams. Because they ain't no freaking people gas. People commenting, saying, no, you all are doing nothing but lying because there's no gas. Every gas station we go to is empty or they're closed or there's signs up everywhere and also they said that um, uh, in a couple of hours they would be out and so on and so forth. So if we have gas, why is all of them shutting down? Yeah, see and that's, that's, what, I'm that's what I've been telling you guys for years is to get ready because now, you know, it's one thing to prepare for the literal scriptural end of days. It is just common good sense to be prepared for, you know, stupid random crap like a pipeline. One pipe busts and the end of the world begins. I mean, like, come on, people. You know, you need to be so far ahead of that. You know, I mean, like, you know, if Nikola Tesla, people like that was left alone, we'd be driving down the road right now with antennas sticking up, pulling high-frequency power into the car to run the darn electric car down the road without even batteries or anything. You know, I mean, it's just... We are in such a controlled world. I look at, I, you know, I hate to say it, a prison planet because I know we live on a geostationary flat earth. <laughs> you just look at this place out here. You can see a wind turbine like 30 miles away. I think it was 15 the other day, the one wind farm that I'm really familiar with from that one plateau. And it wasn't a bit of curvature drop, but that's another conversation for another time, you know. But it's just like we live in such a manipulated world that if a man don't break free of the media, break free of his people he surrounds himself with and just live and think for yourself it's times like this when this gas thing goes down that it just shows you how stupid and sheeplified people are because i mean i'm straight up tell you i'm going right down through here nebraska missouri or i'm sorry uh, iowa missouri kentucky you know i'm just going to ride right over the top up there and then drop down to home you know you can just stay out of the danger zone i mean there's ways of getting around this stuff well, it's, always, it's already been confirmed that people have ran out of gas and they're in clusters walking on foot looking for gas. 
it's been witnessed by a couple of friends so people I mean they're they're crowding the gas stations it's going crazy and this is just day one yeah so guys be safe out there always use your head be prepared no matter where you're at in the world because I mean, take it from me I'm not being hypocritical y'all know I travel the world nowadays I travel all over the country every day um, this stuff can happen anytime it could have happened out here in Wyoming I mean, you need to always have game plans together. You need to know like, where you're at. I mean, like right now, if you ask, look, where am I at right now? I can tell you, I am almost in Nebraska. The other side of Cheyenne, I can tell you, the interstate needs to be going down. You know, I mean, you need to know side roads. You need to know state roads. You need to always be aware and present in your mind where you're at, what you're doing, and why. Okay? Because there's people depending on you that, like, you want to get home to. All right? I got family I'm wanting to get home to right now. I want to see my son because I've been gone for a couple days. We've been out here working, all right? Always be mindful. Get ready, because the day y'all, when it starts, this little stuff like this, man, ain't going to be a drop in the bucket compared to what's going to go down. And just pray we can all be counted worthy to escape these things which are to come. Love y'all. Guys, till we see you again here at 7 Trumpets Prayer Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.